one of the most influential and controversial politicians of the 20th century, was Vladimir Lenin, who changed Russia to a huge extent. The country became a one-party state governed by the Communist Party, but because of his power and influence, Lenin became a target of assassination. But one of the strangest potential assassins of Lenin, who interestingly did have a significant impact on his death, was a woman known as Fanny Kaplan. She at the age of 28 went to her execution for her attempt on the politician's life, and her execution was one which was brutal and barbaric. Welcome to Brutus History. Today we look at the execution of the woman that shot Lenin. And as always, to support our channel, click subscribe down below. Little is known about the early life of Fanny Kaplan, but at some point she would become a political revolutionary, and she was arrested when she was a teenager because of this. She was accused of plotting assassinations, and was actually sentenced to life imprisonment inside of a hard labour camp, but she was released from this in 1917. However, the treatment she suffered in Siberia was very rough, and she lost her eyesight and became blind because of the rough treatment from the guards. She was not a very well woman also. She suffered from migraines and would temporarily regain her vision, but she then became more devoted to politics, but in 1917, she lost faith in Lenin and his policies. Because of this, Fanny Kaplan, along with other social revolutionaries, turned on the Bolsheviks and Lenin, and she began to think of how she could best deal with him, and she became more militant, and did decide then to try and assassinate Lenin. On the 30th of August 1918, Lenin went to the Hammer and Sickle, a weapons factory in the south of Moscow. Fanny Kaplan knew he was going to be there, and she decided this was the time to try and take out the leader. She was amongst the crowds, and was near to the exit of the building where Lenin was inside, and following visiting the factory and passing on good compliments to the workers, he left the building, accompanied by his guards. But then as he approached his car, Fanny Kaplan screamed out to him, and shouted his name, and Lenin then turned his back to see what the commotion was all about. At this moment, she then fired three bullets from her pistol. One of the bullets missed passing through Lenin's coat, however the other two struck him. One of the bullets went through his neck and punctured part of his left lung, and then stopped near to his right collarbone, and this was a very serious wound. The other bullet hit Vladimir Lenin in his left shoulder, and after she shot, Kaplan then tried to make her escape away from the scene. It was chaos, he was taken away to his living quarters at the Kremlin, and Lenin thought a coup was occurring across the nation, and would refuse treatment from the doctors because he was concerned he would be killed. But he needed to go to a hospital, but he would not do this because he was worried about further threats, and he needed the bullets removing in hospital, but this would never happen. Because of this, doctors could not operate in his rooms, and the bullets then had to stay inside Lenin. But he did survive this assassination attempt, but some historians believe that Fanny Kaplan was actually successful in her assassination attempt. This is because later in life he had a number of strokes, which incapacitated him and later killed him, and the bullets may have caused this and been part of the problem. But Fanny Kaplan was arrested, and some in the crowd identified her as a shooter to escape suspicion themselves. But she was then taken to a prison to be interrogated, and she was tortured and forced to sign a confession. It was said in this that she wrote, My name is Fanny Kaplan. Today I shot Lenin. I did it on my own. I will not say from whom I obtained my revolver. I will give no details. I'd resolved to kill Lenin long ago. I consider him a traitor to the revolution. I was exiled to Akatui for participating in an assassination attempt against a Tsarist official in Kiev. I spent 11 years at hard labour. After the revolution I was freed. I favoured the constituent assembly and am still for it. But the authorities wanted her to hand over people who she worked with, as they were convinced that she could not have worked on her own, trying to kill Lenin. But Kaplan would give over nothing at all. A military commander turned over Fanny Kaplan and gave information against her to save himself, and he said she was a member of the social revolutionaries who had planned to kill Lenin. He claimed it was believed Kaplan was the best person to carry out the attack, as they thought she would not attract too much suspicion. However, some historians have even doubted that she was involved in this, as she was nearly blind, and would have needed assistance to carry out the attack. No witnesses ever came forward saying she shot the gun, and it was even claimed that the bullets that were taken from Lenin after his death, from the incident, were different to the ones that Kaplan shot, from her gun. However, as she frustrated her interrogators, Fanny Kaplan was sentenced to death. Her execution was one which was very swift and quick, but was one that was very brutal. Inside Alexander Gardens, Fanny Kaplan was taken from her prison cell, 
and there was an execution squad and group gathered. Leading this was the commander of the Kremlin, P.D. Markov. On the 3rd of September 1918, she walked towards her executioners, who then grabbed her and quickly shot her in the back of the head. Her body was then collected and gathered, and it was then thrown inside of a barrel, which was set on fire, and then burned. Yakov Sverdlov was the person who gave this order and instruction, and he was also the man who ordered the executions of the Russian royal family and the Tsar. Her body was reduced to nothing but ashes. But at the age of 28, Fanny Kaplan was executed ruthlessly by Lenin's execution squads. She had a very tough life, but she chose to be militant against the regime in the Soviet Union. She was a woman who was imprisoned in a tough labour camp, and she was beaten so badly that she experienced blindness. But some people do doubt her role in the assassination attempt, and despite surviving the attack, Lenin's health was never the same because of it, and some claim Fanny Kaplan's attack eventually led to Lenin's death years later. Thanks for watching. To support Brutus History, please make sure to click subscribe down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.